Day of Silence is a Hitchcock-style psychological thriller. I think it references films such as Don't Look Now and The Vanishing, which were incredibly important to me when I was growing up. I really love a psychological thriller. It is the story of a couple who are deeply in love, who throw themselves into their love story without necessarily knowing each other very well. What are the themes in the story that really shook you? Three, I think. Mental health and how we never necessarily really know our partner, how well do we know our partner. The way that lies and secrets operate within relationships and in the world. And then this central moment, which is how do you deal with an impossible situation? And of course, that's what the best thrillers and melodramas are about, you know, ordinary people thrown into extraordinary circumstances and how do they fight their way out. A feature film really does, I think, have to have a linear storyline and especially if you want to tell it with a psychological thriller skeleton around it. There is something about that sort of linear focus which you see, whether it's Polanski or Hitchcock or Nick Rogue, that sort of the audience is learning at the same time as the main protagonist, which I've just always found really, really satisfying when telling a story. Explain to us why such a successful actress would choose to do something as crazy as write and produce an independent film. You are fortunate enough to get to a point where you actually understand a lot about the business that you're in. And most people want to embrace what they do if they love it even more. Actors are always writers because inevitably, even if you're not actually scribbling on the page, you're writing that character by filling in all the blanks. As actors, I think we all want a little bit more control. And if you actually look at lists of people who are now very big producers, perhaps, or big directors, most of them started off as actors. While I was producing this film, I actually made three television series and two feature films at the same time. So I think the great thing about being an actor is that you are able to do both. The big baptism of fire for me was the fact that I really did lead produce this and financed it the age-old way. There was just like a fire to put out every single day. So um, I had my writing hat on and then I kind of took that off and I handed that over and then I very much was in the nuts and bolts of the production side. And I have to say, I really, really enjoy that. Actors tend to get a bit of a bad rap. We're told we're silly, we're patted on the head. People prefer to see us as perhaps just a little frivolous because it suits them. And maybe something somewhere in me stirred and I thought I don't want to be seen as just an adjunct to this business I want to be kind of a deeper part of it and I've got stories to tell as well and why do I always have to be reading scripts and either accepting them or saying no and often making them a lot better which we all do very we work very hard to make scripts that we receive a lot better when we're finally doing them and maybe it'd be nice to just sort of see how how it is on the other side it's not rocket science we we tend to get told that you know the the really important stuff of movie making is is uh, is done by the executives and by the producers and by everybody else you know and i think there was a part of me that wanted to say you know what we're all in this together if you've been on sets for 30 years at different budget levels and watched people, you get a sense of the temperature of a set and how to run it. You do get this siloed mentality between production and um, the sort of more artistic side. I do remember one thing was very interesting. We were having a conversation about vehicles and the second ad said do you realize that you know we're seventy thousand over budget on vehicles and i said well which vehicles are you talking about we've only really got two that we really need and she said no 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 because you see you see that scene we're going to have to have vehicles in the street and then of course you know we've got candy coming up and 
you, you know, she has a car. And I said, no, no, she doesn't have a car. Yes, she has a car. It's in the script. And I said, well, I wrote the script, so she doesn't have a car. No, no, it's in the script. She, must, she has a car and that costs. And I, I thought, wow, because they get really f- focused on finishing the job that's in hand and sending that over to somebody else saying, hmm, you're going to have to find another 50 grand there. <laughs> and you've got the, the producer, uh, who is also the writer in front of you saying, well, I can change that. I can take that page out and I can actually cross that line out. I just thought, wow, that is so interesting that people are creating such problems where they're not necessary.